Hey guys, check it out. Just got this in the mail. It's a brand new banana pie. Here's my unboxing. There you go, it's unboxed. Nothing else in there, that's it. All right. You can see there's a little rip tab there. I'll just rip that open. There you have it. Turn around this way. It's your banana pie. All right, well, I'm pretty excited about this. So uh, why don't I give you a quick walk around? Uh, starting in, in this corner, we're gonna start here with the power. This isn't power, this isn't power. As you might've thought, this is the power, power. Then we're on to uh, eSATA, HDMI. Uh, we've got some sort of uh, attachment cable here. Uh, not sure what that's for, actually. We'll find that out soon. Uh, a U-boot. Not sure what that is either. Uh, this is a gigabit Ethernet switch. Here's two USB 2. Uh, this, which is pretty cool, is an IR receiver. See that? We've got our 3.5 millimeter audio jack, our analog TV jack, uh, and then we're on to our GPIOs. Now you'll notice here that we've got the 26 GPIOs, which I'm told are in the same configuration as the Raspberry Pi, uh, but we also have these additional eight, is that eight? No, it's 10 pins. We'll talk about those in a, in a few minutes. Coming around here, we have the uh, power and reset buttons. Uh, and here we have, it's called a, well, it's a special type of USB, an OTG USB. And this last one, actually, I'm not even sure what that last one is. Again, I'll let you know with an overlay now. Give it some space. All right. On the back side, we can see the uh, familiar SD card slot. I say familiar, it's actually different. It's much better quality than the, uh, the one on the original Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'll talk more about that in a second. Uh, this is the uh, system on a chip. This is an all winner A20. And then we have two 512 uh, RAM modules. So we're looking at a gig of RAM. So that pretty much completes our, our initial walk around. Let's, uh, let's have a quick look at a comparison. I've got a Raspberry Pi Model B just right here. Now, just first thing is, I know that these are supposed to be uh, similar or compatible, but, but they're not. I don't know if you can quite tell uh, from the angle there, but, but actually the Banana Pi is it's bigger. It's just a few mil taller, a few mil wider, as it were. It's also, yeah, a few mil longer. I don't know if you can quite see that. So it's not a direct replacement, and I, I'm told that uh, these don't fit, even though it's pretty obvious to me now, these won't fit in the uh, Raspberry Pi cases, so you don't even need to uh, bother trying. So we're not talking about a drop-in solution uh, from one to the other. Uh, you'll notice they both have the ribbons, but I understand that the ribbons are, are different in some way. Uh, we'll find out more about that as we go. Uh, just a couple of things to talk about here. Uh, one is the GPIOs. So this is our Raspberry Pi Model B, uh, and there's 26 GPIOs along there. But you can see, as I wave my finger around and behind it, these GPIO pin slots are empty. Uh, they're not filled. You can add your own in there. And you can see that the Banana Pi already has done that for you. And one of the, one of the advantages to those particular pins uh, is that they do digital audio. And just today, uh, given my alarm clock project, I've been talking about uh, digital audio outs. And it's amazing that uh, Banana Pi have already, have already put that in. Okay, just another uh, quick note to make here. Uh, we're talking about two different types of, of chips. This is uh, All Winner. Uh, All Winner is a manufacturer of uh, 
small electronics. You probably, well, you may have heard of them before in uh, manufacturing mobile phone chips, but they're quite commonly used in, and are probably more prolific uh, than a lot of other companies out there. Uh, other companies you may have heard of in the same space, of course, there's Broadcom, who make the Raspberry Pi one. Uh, you may have heard of the Marvell chip uh, or the Snapdragon, which is a Qualcomm chip. Anyways, uh, the all-winner chip is very similar. It uses an ARM construction, but of course, this is uh, using a different ARM. This is using ARM v7, whereas this is using ARM v6. Uh, slight different there, but uh, this is a dual-core processor, so... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll talk about some benchmarks in a little bit, but that is uh, a significant upgrade. And of course, uh, we've doubled the RAM. You can see that there's two modules here, doubling the RAM to a gigabyte. I think that uh, the most recent revision to the uh, B Plus uh, should really have gone, have gone this way uh, with the gig of RAM. It also has the gigabit Ethernet, which again is some fans uh, like me have been calling for for some time on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty much long overdue. The one thing I did miss as we were going around then is there's a mic in there. Uh, there's a little mic sat between the two. Again, this is great as a, you know, as a starting, starting board. That mic would allow me to do the voice activations. And of course, the infrared receiver means that I could set up XBMC. And with the audio... Uh, cables already plugged in. Uh, it means I could just plug in a, a like the Wolfson audio card straight off the bat. I also understand that there's a couple LEDs that you can play with, uh, configure straight on the board. I mean, this is pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting, and you can see that uh, that this is a better quality version of the. Oh, sorry to drop that there. This is a better quality version of the the friction uh, SD that they've got in the. A Raspberry Pi. So now we should probably talk about uh, price. And this is where things start to get pretty confusing. I don't actually know how much the Banana Pi is supposed to be, which is odd because I've been looking at it recently and you'd think that it would be, okay, it's 79 bucks, but it's not just 79 bucks. It's 79 bucks plus shipping or it's 79 bucks plus uh, GST or it's 89 bucks plus 10 bucks shipping, or it's 99 bucks and it's all included, or it's it, it's not as straightforward as the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is 35 bucks and that's that. Uh, I understand you're getting more. You're definitely getting more with the uh, Banana Pi, but the prices aren't sane. It's not sane. Anyways, to celebrate for the last few minutes, I thought I would do this. A couple bananas, they are very ripe bananas. They're kind of in the configuration of Pi already. There you have it, bananas in your banana pie. Bananas for scale, for those of you who are on Reddit. Thanks for tuning in. Of course, uh, there'll be more videos coming up about the banana pie very soon. Uh, I'm looking forward to starting a quick project and uh, getting it underway. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes as soon as I put the, uh, the SD card in, how it boots up, what's going on. Check out uh, a video coming up soon. Otherwise, you can check out some of my Raspberry Pi videos or hopefully by the time uh, you're watching this, you can check out some of my banana pie videos. Great. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free. Give me a like if you enjoyed the video. Of course, you can buy me a coffee uh, if you found the video helpful. Thanks very much. Hope to see you again soon.